I was accepted to the Google Glass Explorer program, which is uh, the initial beta testing of the Google Glass technology. There was an application process which they accepted 10,000 people to first be invited to use the technology and uh, my ap application focused on the potential for this technology in, in academic medicine. At this time I believe I'm actually the only person in Quebec with the Google Glass and, uh, and I'm definitely the only person I know of at this point with, with it in medicine. In the operating room the advantage of this is is manyfold. It gives you a, a first-hand perspective of what the surgeon is doing, so you're able to see exactly what he sees, not, not from a camera that's on the periphery, not from a camera that's in a light handle, not from a camera somewhere else that doesn't have quite the same perspective. And I think that that's a very important teaching tool in the sense of if you want to learn something, you need to be able to see it the way that you will see it as a future surgeon. That's the first part. The second part being that it, it's a much lower contamination risk at this time when cameras are brought into the OR. They're, they're brought in by someone else, they're brought in and, and they're held over to take a picture of something that's being done in surgery. This is no more than, than the glasses that I wear every day in the OR. So I think that it, it's safer, it's more efficient, and ultimately it can be an amazing teaching tool that, uh, that we don't currently have anything that compares to. The ability to, to immediately be able to Google something and find out the more information on a potential diagnosis or a rare disease is a, is a huge asset. Research that's being done at McGill is you know, on the forefront of technology and, and we're really trying to get the most out of uh, all the potential opportunities we have and that's, that's what's motivated us to take, take advantage of the potential with these, with these glasses.